This is the Herschel Settlement Backpack, and this is my honest review. Hey, this is Lauren from Honest Reviews, and today I am going to be looking at this here, the Herschel Settlement Backpack, uh, kind of like the more minimal version of the very popular pop quiz, few less features, bit of a lower price point. Uh, we'll be going through some of the details, the pricing, and then I'm gonna let you know my honest thoughts on the backpack as it is. We have a lot of other Herschel backpack reviews as well as some Herschel knockoffs, so make sure to check out the rest of the channel and subscribe for those. For now, let's get into it. For starters, this bag currently retails for about $44 US on amazon.com. You can find the link below in the description, so it's nice and easy. There are a ton of different colors. Some of them have this sort of like contrasting. You can kind of see here this, part of the bag, this front pocket has a like crosshatch pattern on it. This part doesn't um, and they're contrasting colors. So some of the bags have that, some of them are all one color. Uh, so there's definitely kind of every style for whoever wants something different. Some of them have like big patterns, that kind of thing. So lots of options. One thing that I do find with Herschel bags on Amazon is that they can tend to be quite different prices. Uh, depending on the pattern you're looking at. So make sure you kind of look around and find something that works for your budget. Also be super careful on Amazon that you are buying from an authorized retailer only. Uh, the Herschel bags do come with a limited lifetime warranty uh, on any of the sort of like manufacturing defect kind of stuff, uh, but only if you buy from an authorized retailer. Uh, so make sure you are double checking that. Look at the links in the description because those are for sure the good ones. All right, so I'm gonna go through kind of like the details of the bag, let you know what features it has. For starters, you can see it's a very simple bag. Uh, there's one front pocket and then one main pocket and that's it. Uh, but Herschel bags do tend to be more on the minimal side. So in this front pocket here, we have the exposed zipper. Uh, so there's no flap going over it, which some people like, cause then it's not gonna get caught. Uh, and all of the zipper pulls on this bag have this pebbled leather, so there's like a little texture on the leather there, just a nice little detail. I also like that the zippers themselves say Herschel on them. That's kind of a way you know that these are indeed the authentic bags. Of course, you have the Herschel patch down here, uh, definitely paying a little extra for that brand recognition, but it's a good design, so let's open this up. So in this front pocket, you can see the, uh, you know, the classic Herschel liner, that red and white stripe, that is, sort of a, you know, hallmark of the brand. And then hidden in here, you have this uh, plastic red key clip. So you can just kind of clip your keys onto there. It's quite firm, uh, but that is what is in there. There's nothing else in this pocket um, except those, that one thing, there's no extra organizers or anything. So it's a very simple front pocket. One thing I will say about these zippers, they are quite uh, robust looking, kind of almost sharp and they are a little bit stiff at first. Uh, so that is one thing that I will mention about them. I'm gonna go to the back of the bag before we go inside. Uh, so this is the padding on the strap. So it has that kind of nice mesh. There's a decent amount of padding in there. I do like that there is some, you know, so, like squishiness so that these are a little bit more comfortable. The straps are fairly narrow. It's a pretty lightweight bag overall. It has this little um, rubber flap that is just decorative. Uh, it's kind of like a signature, I think, of the Herschel bags. Often they're more of a leather look. This one is rubber. On the straps themselves, these are the adjustable buckles. And one thing that is, again, nice about the Herschel bags, you do tend to pay a little bit more than like the knockoff bags, but the hardware like this buckle is the same color as the bag. Uh, so it's kind of those little details where everything is like matching. That is something that you do pay a little extra for in terms of the design. One thing I really like about these straps is that there is this elastic here and what this is for is once you've adjusted your strap you can either just like thread the excess through or you can even fold it up uh, and like this will hold it in place and then that way you don't have your straps like dangling down and that looks kind of messy this little thing here lets you keep it looking a little bit cleaner which i do like 
There is the top handle here, which makes it easy to pick up the bag or hang the bag. Uh, so that is nice. And that is everything on the outside. There are no water bottle pockets, just a little Herschel logo tag here, uh, but that's it in terms of the outside. So now we're gonna go inside and I will mention that there's only one zipper on this bag. So, uh, you know, you can't kind of grab from either side or from the top, just one zipper that you're gonna open it up with. Um, again, the it's a little bit stiff that, that zipper right now, but it like, it isn't getting caught or anything. All right, so as you can see right away, it's like, bam, there's that striped liner. Uh, I will say that like for some people, this is a little much. Uh, for other people, they love it. They love the kind of bold contrast of that red and white liner. So it's a personal thing, but it is important to note that this is the inside of all the bags has this signature liner. All right, so this bag has this uh, laptop pouch here. This will hold a 15 inch laptop, uh, though I have seen some people say that like, that's kind of designed around a 15 inch MacBook. Um, like it, this is very stretchy, so you might be okay, but it's definitely not a huge amount of space in here. The overall uh, dimension, like uh, capacity of this bag is 23 liters, which is actually pretty decent. It's a fairly compact looking bag, um, but there is your 15 inch laptop. This is unpadded. Uh, it's just the liner. There's nothing to kind of protect your laptop. So if you are using this with like a nice laptop, you might want to invest in some kind of hard shell or something um, just because there's not any protection going on in here. Now there is one other pocket in here. Right here, you can see there's this like little pocket on the side and that is, they call it a media pocket. Um, so it's kind of like for your phone and it is just on the very side. It would not hold a water bottle. It is really just for a phone. Um, and that is the only other pocket on the inside of the bag. So you've got the laptop pouch and that little media pouch on the side. That's it. The rest of the thing is just wide open space. Uh, so if you are into like lots of little pockets to organize your stuff, this is not the bag for you. It is much more minimal than that. Uh, there is one other feature here, just right here on the edge. This is a, uh, like a headphone port um, for your earbuds or your headphones and you can thread the cord through this little hole and it can go down into that little media pouch so that you can like keep your bag in there but listen to your listen to your music. And this is another thing with like the authentic Herschel bags is that this is the same color as the um, material. So it's like all kind of really um, like blends in. It doesn't stand out. Whereas other bags, this is like black. So that is something to note. Uh, so those are sort of the general features. Like I mentioned, this is a 23 liter bag, which is pretty good capacity. The basic statistics about the dimensions, if that's important to you, is that it is 17.75 inches high. It is 12.25 inches wide. And then when it's full, it gets to be 5.75 inches deep. I'm going to put a few uh, textbooks in here and a binders just so you can get a sense of how well it holds some big heavy stuff. All right, so there's a look. We've got a pretty medium sized textbook, regular size full binder, and then a smaller book. And you still have quite a bit of space up there. Um, so yeah, you can see that it is pretty decent in terms of the actual capacity of this bag, given the like smaller, like actual looking size on the outside. Now we did review the Herschel Heritage bag, which I will leave a link in the description below. Um, that one had a little bit more features. It kind of had like a leather bottom. So it was a little fancier looking, but the volume on the Heritage was 21.5 liters, whereas this is 23 liters. So if like capacity is very important to you, this is definitely a bag worth checking out. I do really like the design. I love the minimal look on this. I like that you can get it all in one color or in contrasting colors. So if you like it a little jazzier, you have that option. But if you also like it really clean and simple, that's there for you too. Now, like I said, uh, organization is kind of lacking on this. There are no organizers. There's no water bottle pockets. Um, 
and you just kind of have these two main pockets, but maybe that's all you need and that's okay. The one thing that I will say about this bag that kind of comes up over and over again, and there are a ton of one star reviews for this bag because of it, it's the zippers. A lot of people have trouble with these zippers. So on like from the outset, they look quite robust. They look heavy duty. Like if you just rub your finger across here, like this is sharp. These are like beefy zippers. So you would think that they would be really good, but I saw tons of people saying that within months, the zipper just totally broke, um, which is not what you expect from these bags. You definitely are paying a bit extra for the bags. So I would really be conscious of the fact that they do offer a lifetime warranty, especially for the zippers. And I did see that people sometimes had like, it took a while for them to get through to the company. Like you kind of have to be persistent with it, but they do end up getting the replacement bag if your zipper breaks. So if you do get this bag, keep an eye on that. Make sure to save your receipts um, so that if the zippers do break on you, you will be able to get a replacement. This is definitely a bag that's more for like school, um, university, you know, gym bag, that kind of thing. In terms of backpacking, using it for long distances, uh, I'll point out that it does not have like, it does not have a chest strap. It does not have a waist strap. There's nothing on there to redistribute the weight uh, if the bag is heavy. So if you are kind of looking for something that you can use for long, long periods, or you tend to have like a sore back when you're using um, a backpack, this might not be the best option. You might wanna find something that has those extra straps on there to help with those issues. Here is a look at me wearing the bag. For reference, I am five foot six. All right, so that was a look at the Herschel Settlement Backpack. Again, the links are in the description below for you to go check it out for yourself. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like this bag? Do you like the design? We also review a bunch of other Herschel bags as well as some knockoffs. Uh, so the links for those will be in the description as well. You could subscribe and see all the new ones because we're gonna be reviewing a bunch more. And uh, leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review. I hope you did. Have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video.